New at 5.30, following up on a story we brought you two weeks ago, the CEO of Legacy Village, Bakersfield's only residential rehab treatment center for veterans, said the VA is denying veterans referrals to their facility. 17's Aton Wallace spoke with one veteran today who said that's exactly what happened to him. Aton? Veteran Bill Whaley says he requested the VA refer him to the Legacy Village Treatment Program for Alcoholism. But even though Legacy Village is contracted with the VA, Whaley says he was told no such referral could take place, and now he says he needs help. Bill Whaley served our nation. 72 to 74, Vietnam era. Now this Army vet who operated teletypes during his service says he needs help. My only tool is to turn to alcohol. That's what, that's what I do. I'm an alcoholic and I have an on switch, I don't have an off switch. And for that, Whaley sought help. He says he went to the local VA and was told to enroll in the treatment program offered by the VA in West Los Angeles. I've tried the VA system and uh, it just didn't work for me. And that's why he's now asking the VA for a referral to Legacy Village, Bakersfield's only residential rehab treatment center for vets. The facility houses up to 20 clients and includes a group room where therapy and relapse prevention classes take place. Uh, we went through the process to uh, direct contract with the VA and to get an in-network contracts with TriWest and TriCare. We're the only local option for veterans to receive residential treatment. But Whaley says he was told by a VA doctor that Legacy Village is not an option, leaving him with just one choice, the VA treatment program in West L.A. To be sent down to L.A. where you have no uh, family, you have no, bad, no, no support system. They just seem not to uh, want to let Bakersfield office know about Legacy Village that we have the option. We don't have to go to L.A. We can do it right here in our, our own town. Meantime, Whaley says he's missing out on treatment he needs. The CEO of Legacy Village believes valuable time in the recovery process is being lost. Those who haven't struggled with an addiction don't understand how difficult just that first admission is. And when you've done that and you've said, okay, I need help, for you to hit a brick wall and uh, not have any options at all uh, or be told to wait, um, that's one of the most detrimental things to your recovery that you can have happen. What could happen if you don't get the help you need? Oh, that's the thing is I'm an alcoholic. I'm closer to my next drink than I'm further away from my last drink. A representative from Congressman McCarthy's office says the office hopes to help and they treat each veteran on a case-by-case -case basis. Meantime, we've reached out to the VA about this story. And after looking into the matter, a representative there said they'll let the story stand as is. They have no comment. In the newsroom, Aton Wallace, 17 News. Hmm.